named in a lawsuit. So his identity had to be revealed. He said it's hell right now. He's so scared for his family because in the past six months, he endured stalkers, death threats, home invasions, lawsuits, potential kidnapping. This is in freaking sane, right? <laughs> All for a treasure. People be bugged out, man. You got to read this full article. Again, I'll post it up on the Facebook page. Oh, it's good to see that she's returning back to TV. Queen Latifah. She's got a new movie coming out on Netflix. It's called End of the Road. And it's kind of a Netflix thriller. So probably some comedic, but it's definitely going to be more of a thriller. And I like those. I like thrillers. Pretty much it's about... Brenda, who Queen Latifah plays, is a recent widow. She ended up losing her job as she drives her family cross-country to start a new life. And while she's in the New Mexico desert, she becomes a target of a mysterious killer. Now, oh, wow, I didn't know this. Tracy Emmons is actually producing it through her Edmonds Entertainment. That's Babyface Wife, also um, TLC's old manager. That's pretty interesting. And you know Queen Latifah got her hands in it. It's executive produced for Flavor Unit Entertainment. And you know that's Queen Latifah's entertainment, Flavor Unit. So I guess we just got to look out for that. And I'm sure it's only going to be like a couple weeks. They posted this information this week. So I'm sure within a couple weeks we'll be able to check that out. Big ups to MSNBC because Rashida Jones was named the next president of MSNBC. Phil Griffin stepped down after 25 years at the cable news channel to make way for Rashida Jones. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, she's been in this industry for quite a while. And this is going to be something pretty big because she's now become the most prominent black woman in the cable news industry. So I'm glad to see that she takes over on February 1st. I like MSNBC too. So one thing I want to touch on too, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I do see how a lot of my Facebook friends are like, Oh man, I need something to buy my man and I'm always looking for gifts to buy Malcolm because that's just what you do you know and so I found this article with some stuff for guys and to be honest with you I think everything I hear is dope I'm gonna read this let me see can I read all of these because it's pretty long and I don't want to like type the whole day on the whole podcast with it oh okay I could I could give a couple and then you could just check out the rest of this up on the Facebook page all right scotch porter beard collection now it comes with a bomb a beard wash conditioner and a serum I think that's really dope to give any guy because like that beer sometimes be smelling like coffee or cheeseburger you know what I mean or the day and regular face wash doesn't get it like how it's supposed to be Malcolm has a little goatee so this is definitely something I'd like to get for him also if your man is into doing his own trimming of his facial hair Bevel's limited edition black trimmer is definitely one of those things. Bevel is a company that Nas is associated with. I think he has stock in this or part owner or something. Not the fact that it's his to buy it, but it's actually a really nice trimmer. It's black. It's really nice. So that would definitely be a nice present. Uh, They got shirts on here, which eh, shirts is all right (laughs) for the drunk boyfriend or husband there's the i guess it's belay bourbon yeti outdoor pack it's really cute cute little frontier whiskey bourbon uh 
Ooh, they got yeah. This is nice. It's a nice west, uh, nice whiskey. Oh, that's nice to have. Yeah, that'll be nice little collection to add to your boo if he likes whiskey. That's this is a nice one right here, and it has nice little bottles and everything. Nice little gift pack. Gift pack. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is one that I was cracking up about, but let me tell you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me back up. There is this. It's called Kith Around Kith Zip Around Wallet. This is a nice wallet. When I say classy, just manly, it is nice. I think this is a really beautiful gift for any guy, honestly, in your your family. East Saint Laurent, I love. Oh my gosh, they have a two piece gift set that is really nice. The bottles is oh beautiful. This is a beautiful blue. The box is nice. Oh, yeah, this is a really nice present. This is the one that I like right here. This next one, Jolly Jewel Sack Pack. Ha! Let me tell you what's in this one. They have a cologne, a neutralizing odor, and a balls wash. That's activated with charcoal. Nuts, butts, and body wash. That's what it's called. Yo, this is dope, though. (laughs) Keep your jewels jolly, ballsy. (laughs) It's only $45. I think that's worth it. That's nice. That's a nice little gift. There's a couple more that's on there, too. If you want to know the full listing, just go over to Sunny Side of Life podcast on Facebook and the whole list is there. So we're going to take another quick break and then we'll be back with the hot topic. All right, let's hit that switch. I have been talking about that video that's been circulating on Facebook and Instagram. I posted the video up on my personal Facebook page, which is Sunny Mac World, and you'll see me, Sunny Mac, on there. And it pretty much is a woman calling into a dating consultant. And apparently, she makes six figures, not figures, figures, okay? <laughs> With her business. And she's like, nah, I want a baller. And the host kept it all the way real with her, okay? He pretty much said, you look average at best, you're going to die alone. Now, don't get too crazy and up in arms about what he said because she called in and wanted to know. And She said she was average in looks. She said she had a banging body and that could, you know, that's important. And I wanted to talk about it because it garnered a lot of comments on here. And my stance on this, I definitely urge you to watch this clip. So go on my Facebook page, watch this clip. And then you can really get into what I'm trying to put out there. A couple key points I wanted to talk about, though, was he asked her, what makes you think as a 35-year-old woman with a kid that... And you being average looking, in her own words, she rate herself as a 5'6", okay? 5'6". What makes you think a man with six figures would want a woman like you? Thinking at it, about it, from a woman's standpoint, he's absolutely right. Now, let me, let me explain. I was in 
the entertainment industry for 20 something years. I've come across every celebrity pretty much you could think of, music wise. Some actors as well. I am above average. I rank myself at, I'd say like an eight, nine. Lower part of nine. Only because I don't think anybody's perfect. I don't think there's a ten, okay? And these dudes was rich, okay? And they was they was looking. Sunny, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? But this is the thing, okay? I did not want a guy that was broke or a guy that I don't want to say wasn't a baller but you know what I'm saying right like he got to have something I still have to be able to continue my lifestyle do you get what I'm saying if I'm buying wigs I want to know that I'm with you I'm still being me doing the stuff that I do that I want to do Now, with these rich men I came encountered with were assholes because they got so much money, they got all these women after them. So they expect you to not be you, to be what they want you to be. You get what I'm saying? And women that have their own, their own money, their own business, their own house, they're not putting up with that shit. It's not happening. So these men that have this money love going after the younger, the ones that may not be on that level as you may be with your income and your six figures. I'm speaking as far as women wise. So they go for the less because they know they can get more out of her. And listen, this is just the real deal. For me, I was like, I'm not jumping through hoops for you, buddy. It's not happening. I'm my own person. I'm content with what I got. I'm not jumping through hoops. I knew in my mind I would never be with a celebrity person. I wouldn't because I'm not a hoop jumper. I'm my own person. I knew I was going to have what they considered an average guy. Guy that's not in the spotlight. Guy that is not a football player, not a singer or actor or whatever. That was my speed. You get get what I'm saying? That was my speed. So, sorry. So when this 35 year old woman with the kid says she wants a baller and he's telling her you can't get a baller the ballers aren't looking for you and saying yourself you're an average woman and you're competing with women that's getting surgeries to look like a 10 and do backflips and splits and hang from chandeliers and got the time to sit around and wait on them. They don't care about your money. She couldn't get that. She couldn't get that. If you think about it, this ain't nothing new. What about those wives that worked hard to put their husband through medical school through law school, took care of the home and the kids. Now he's like 40-something. She's 40-something. He's very, he's very successful now. Got himself a drop top. The kids are growing older. The wife is like, all right, so start trying to build that rapport with her husband kids are growing up he's going through midlife crisis he wants a divorce he's going after the young one you see what I'm saying 
I don't understand.